So I want to show you a couple of harder examples of substitution. Let's start with this one. x plus 4y equals negative 3 and 2x plus 7y is negative 4. All right. This one doesn't immediately say substitution. In fact, I would probably solve these myself with elimination. But it can be done with substitution. What you have to do is first rearrange one of these equations so that it says x equals something or y equals something. So let me start by labelling my equations. I'm going to rearrange number 1 so it says x equals because it's actually pretty easy to do. Number 1 rearranges to say x, I'm going to write the equation, x plus 4y is negative 3. That means x must be negative 4y minus 3. Now I got this from equation 1, so I'm going to call it 1a. You can call it equation 3 if you like, it doesn't matter. All right. I've now got an equation that says x equals, and I can substitute that into equation 2. Be careful. Don't try substituting this into equation 1, because you'll end up with negative 3 equals negative 3, or something equally useless. So, into equation 2 we go. Substitute 1a into equation 2. Notice, setting out shows me exactly what I'm doing. Equation 2 says 2 times x, negative 4 minus 3, oops, negative 4y minus 3, plus 7y equals negative 4. Now, being very careful of the negatives, let's solve it. Negative 8y minus 6 plus 7y is negative 4. Keep the y's here negative 1y, you don't need that one, is negative 4 plus 6. Negative y is positive 2, y must be negative 2. Okay, uh, substitute y into an equation up here that will give me a value for x. Well, 1a is going to do that easiest. So let's substitute that into 1a. It says x equals negative 4 times y, negative 2, take away 3, which is positive 8, take 3, which is 5. Can I check my work? Of course. Let's check it with equation 2. Now, yeah. I'm not sure I can quite there on the screen at once. Yes, I can just. So let's try it. Check equation 2. There's no point in my checking with equation 1 because 1a one is the same as 1. Check the other equation, number 2. All right. 2 times x plus 7 times y, which is 10 plus negative 14, which is negative 4, is correct. Okay, so we finish with a statement of our answer, which I'm only, yeah, only just going to fit on the page. Therefore, the solution is x equals 5, y equals negative 2. Let me show you another one. Okay. 2x plus 3y equals 2. 3x plus 5y equals 2. Number 1, number 2. Now, the one we just did, this one over here, is easy enough to do with substitution. This rearrangement is pretty quick and easy. I would probably still use elimination, but substitution is a very good method. For this one, I would almost always use elimination. Let me show you, you can do it with substitution, but it's worth your while trying this one with elimination as well, 
so you can compare them and decide if I see one of these, which method do I prefer? Because you might have a different preference to me. Okay, let's give it a go. Um, what I have to do is pick one of these equations and rearrange it so it says x equals something or y equals something. Now here, there's not much particular reason to choose one over the other. So let's just start with equation 1. 2x plus 3y equals 2. 2x then must be negative 3y plus 2. Pardon me, x must be negative 3 on 2y plus 1. Be careful, most common mistake I see, divide by 2 if you get to divide this one by 2. It's got to be a half of everything. 1a. Let's substitute that into equation 2. Substitute 1a into 2. 3 times x, negative 3 on 2y. No, not finished yet. Plus 1, 3x, plus 5y equals 2. All right. Um, expand the brackets. Negative 9 on 2y plus 3 plus 5y equals 2. See, if you're not comfortable with fractions, I think you'll find elimination easy. Let's keep going, though. Um, negative 9 on 2y. Whoops. No. Here's where I'm going to get a calculator, because I want to make sure I get the fractions correct. And I can probably do that in my head, but I want to make sure you can see a method that works. So, negative 9 on 2 plus 5 is a half. Well, that was easy. 1 half y is going to be 2 take away 3. Half of y is negative 1. y must be negative 2. Okay, if y is 2, let's get a value for x. I'm sure you can see, see it all. Uh, substitute that into 1a. Again, I could go all the way back to equation 1, but equation 1a is the same as 1, but already says x equals. x equals negative 3 on 2 times y, negative 2, plus 1. Okay, that's positive 3 plus 1, which is 4. Now, that was a bit scary, there were fractions involved, so let me check it with the other equation. I've used 1 to do the substitution for y, sorry, for x, for the other variable, for x, so check it with equation 2, which says 3, can you still see that? Just 3 times x plus 5 times y, which is 12, you can still see that? 12, take away 10, I've really run out of room, which is negative 2. Okay, if that's negative, I'm sure it's clear. If that's negative 2, I've done, oh, I have done something silly. 12 take 10 is positive 2, which is correct. Okay, therefore the solution is, I'm running out of room, so I'm going to write the short way. X is 4, Y is negative 2. It really is worth your while going back and trying to solve these with elimination. It will still be some effort, but it should avoid the fractions. Try it with elimination. You decide which one you prefer.